Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashir, Yahweh Shai, Bashir, Kakadash, the double honor to those great millstone while I the truth, and also to the whole elect that is scattered abroad. I'd like to say shalom and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashir, Yahweh Shai. The type of day lesson is nothing is going back to normal. These are the last days. So I'd like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn. Hope this will help you today, guide you back in the paths of rights and back to your true power. It's a fact. It's your how by Shem Yahweh Shah. So we're hearing rumors of war. We read at the brink of a World War III. And a lot of people are constantly uh, 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 still uh, 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 still thinking things that is going to be all right. And all hell is getting ready to break loose. We constantly want it. We are at the end. It is at the door. And that is about Jacob's trouble right upon a time of trouble that we have never seen before. We see him. Uh, things that's going on all around, all around us. You know, you you hearing, uh, seeing a volcanic activities all over the place. Uh, strange weather patterns. Uh, you're seeing people are constantly having visions and uh, dreams. The Lord said all these things will happen. Bible prophecy are jumping off the pages left and right. And I advise that you know we seeing that we are here. And I advise that we are rejoicing because we know we are very close to our Lord and Savior. You know, get ready to accept that righteous kingdom. Forever and forever. So we, we're, we're ready to go. This is not our rest. So we are constantly sounding the law. We're constantly being a watchman for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are living in these perilous times. You know, so, you know, food shortage, a uh, water shortage, uh, a lot of things are going on. You know, uh, uh, saying that uh, 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 the economy is very close to crash. A lot of things are happening. You know, a lot of people are still are not seeing, are still are not hearing. But that but we're not even worried about it because the Lord is only coming back for that remnant, that one third, the house of David. So we are rejoicing because we know we're very close. Bible prophecy are constantly coming to pass, and His word is not is not returned to Him void. So the title of the day lesson once again is uh, "Nothing is going back to normal." These are the last days. So we'll open up in the book of Luke. One moment, in the book of Luke, chapter twelve and verse two. One moment. And it reads, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. So a lot of things are being known. A lot of things are being uncovered. So we're in these times. So the Lord said he will reveal everything in his time. So we're in that time, in that season. So we are measuring the time diligently. And I have that we know we're constantly watching, praying, and being sold because we know that we're very close to our salvation. So now, We'll, we'll, we'll start the lesson. Let's, let's go to uh, Isaiah chapter 55. One moment. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. One moment. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So right now it's time to seek the Lord because we, we are in these times. We are in the end time. And I remember rumors of war, all these volcanic activities, all these strange weather patterns, uh, shortage of food. You know, uh, a lot of things are happening at a fast pace because we're in that time. And I remember in that season. And, that, and, and one thing about it, it's time to seek the Lord. It's time to come back out of total subjection to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Why he is near, why grace and mercy is constantly flowing. But the door of repentance is cut and getting ready to close. And I did about it. He said, they will seek me early, but they shall not find it. It's time to seek the Lord right now while, it's still, while you still have time because we are running out of time. So now, let's go to, uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, one moment. 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we'll start at verse 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we'll start up at verse 1. And it reads, this know also that in the last day perilous times shall come. Verse 2, for men shall be lovers of, of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemer, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. So all of that is happening right now. A lot of people are being very disobedient. A lot of people are not uh, as unholy. A lot of people are very wicked. And that is about a love of men is waxing cold. You know, just like the Bible said, we're in these times. So now, and start back up at verse uh, 3, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 3. Without natural affection, truth breaker, false accuser, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. So a lot of people are, are despising. A lot of people are mocking and scoffing. 
And you know, and, 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 and we're constantly telling them left and right, but they they constantly want to be un, unbelievers. But that is about we're not worried about it because they're getting ready to die in the unbelief. And that is about that you know two thirds their end shall be cut off and die. So that is about we're gonna have a lot of despise, a lot of people gonna come up against. So there are many uh, antichrists. But the Lord said that will happen in these last days. We are here. So now let's start back up at Second Timothy chapter three, and we'll start back up at verse four. Traitors. Heady, uh, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than the lovers of the Most High. Verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for from such turn away. Let's read that again. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. So a lot of people are turning away. A lot of people are falling out of the uh, out of the truth because that's about you know you tell them that the Lord don't love everyone. The Lord is a Negro man for the tribe of Jew. A lot of people you know have that that zeal, but not according to knowledge. And that's about it. Only the elect will attain. So we're not worried about the the rest. So rejoice in Him. We're living in these times, and nothing is going back the same. That is over with. We're getting ready. We're in a transition of power. The Lord's getting ready to usher in that righteous kingdom, and we cannot wait. So now, let's drop down to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we'll drop down to verse verse 12. And it reads, Yea, and all that that will live godly in the Himasiah, Yahweh shall suffer persecution. Let's read that again. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. Yea, and all that that will live godly in the Hamasiah, Yahweh shall suffer persecution. So through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. The Lord said we will be tried as gold is tried in fire. So we're coming up on that perilous time. We are here. Great tribulation, great mourning, great death. You know what I'm saying? We're at the beginning of sorrow. We constantly tell you, left right, we at the brink of World War III. It's at the door. And that is about it. It's all around us. And a lot of people still are not seeing, still are not hearing, and still are not coming back on the total suggestion to your house by shooting your shot. So now we'll start back up in 2 Timothy chapter 3. We'll start back up at verse 13. But evil men and seducer shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So that is about a lot of people are being deceived. A lot of people are being are, are, are the deceiver. The Lord said they are his. And that is about that the Lord is in perfect control. And that is about that we, we all are doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh And there is no free will or do thy will spirit, that left hand energy. The Lord is controlling everything. The Lord is constantly moving all the chess pieces around. So a lot of people say everything is going to be all right. Oh, everything will go back to none. Nothing is going back to same. We're getting ready to go into that transition. This, this earth age is getting ready to end, which in fact, is it, it, it said that Esau is, is the end of the world. This earth age right now, we're in, in the last day. And the beginning of it that follow is Jacob, Israel. And that's about it. The Lord is getting ready to usher in that righteous kingdom. And that's about it. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're constantly warning you. We are in these times, the last day. So now, let's uh, go to Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, one moment. Matthew chapter 24, a little bit under the weather, but we're going to constantly do the will. Uh, Matthew uh, chapter 24, and we'll start up at verse 3. <clears throat> and it reads, and, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the signs of thy coming, and, and, and of the end of the world? Verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So a lot of people are constantly being deceived from the left hand side. We are not ignorant of Satan device. A lot of people are lining up, taking that you know what. And that's about it. They are in for a rude awakening. So all things are being revealed in his time. And that's about it. That season is now. The Lord is getting ready to set up that right key. He's getting ready to do a mighty work. We're seeing all these different things that's going on in the world. We're seeing all the Bible prophecies are coming to life, left and right. We are living it real time. Revelation, we are here. It is at the door. And, and, and we're constantly warning you left and right. The Lord said, seek him. It is time. And at the battle day, if you do not want to return, you will be totally destroyed. So now let's start back up to Matthew chapter 24. We start back up at verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am 
the Hamasiah and shall deceive many. So you have a lot of false prophets, you know, like these big mega church, like uh, uh, TD Snakes, or uh, uh, what's this other guy name? A lot of these uh, 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 mega churches, they don't know anything. You know, they have anything to do with our Lord and say, constantly calling on white man Jesus. And that is about it. will only lead to your death and destruction. And that is about it. If the blind lead the blind, then both of you will fall in the ditch. You will be totally destroyed. And that is about it. A Lord said that a lot of people will come in his name. But that is about it. They're constantly deceiving. So a lot of that is going on right now. So that is about it. You must be a discerner of the spirit. Because we're living in these times. Ain't nothing going back to same. So now, let's start back up. Uh, Matthew chapter 24. We'll start back up at verse 6. And it reads, And ye, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So you seeing all these room you hearing all these rumors of war. And I about you know the Ukraine, Russia, NATO, US, you're hearing about China, Taiwan, you're hearing about Israel and Iran. All these things are coming to pass, seeing all the uproars of the people. The Lord said that will come. But before the end comes, so that is about it. all these things must take place. We're in that time and season right now. So rejoice, ye heaven. So now, let's start back up in Matthew chapter 24, and we'll start back up at uh, verse uh, 7. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. So, Seeing all that is happening now, earthquakes in diverse places, seeing volcanic activity throughout the entire world, strange weather pattern. You're seeing, you know, uh, 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 people are constantly divided. You know, so if the kingdom is uh, divided, they cannot stand. So all these things are happening just like the Lord said. The Bible is a true book and his word is not returned to him for. So now let's start back up at verse uh, 8. And he said, all these are the beginning of sorrow. So we at the beginning of sorrow, you know, great mourning, great death. And that is about it, it's time to seek the Lord. But a lot of people are constantly thinking that uh, uh, everything is going to be okay. They constantly relax. They're at ease. And that is about it, constantly drinking in marriage, like in Noah's time, back in Sodom and Gomorrah time. They were all destroyed. And that is about it, it's nothing new in the sun. We're constantly one. We are sounding along, left and right. And that is about it, we're ready to go. Be back with our Lord and Savior forever and forever. So now let's start back up. And back to chapter 24, and we'll start back up at uh one moment. We'll start back up at verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. He said, first they hated me, and they also will hate, hate you. So we constantly got to pick up the cross and follow the Lord. We will be tried as gold is tried. But a lot of great persecution and get ready to come upon. A lot of us will be going to FEMA camp. Great mandates are coming down. A lot of things are getting ready to happen on a, on a high level. Unrighteous decree. All these things are coming to pass. So we're not ignorant of Satan's device. They are coming. And I do about we knowing that the devil has just a very short time. He's getting ready to unleash hell on this earth. But the Lord is getting ready to lift up that stunt. So we don't have anything to worry about. But trust and believe in Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. So now. We'll start back up at Matthew chapter 24. One moment. Start back up at Matthew chapter 24 and we'll start back up at, uh, at verse 11. And it reads, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold. So uh, a lot of wickedness has increased. A lot of homosexuality, a lot of pale fear, a lot of people are, are, are not loving one another. A lot of people are divided. All that is, is happening right before our eyes. A lot of people are uncertain. You know, a lot of people don't believe, don't have the faith. So we don't even care. The Lord said all these things will happen right before the end come. So we're, we're very close. Woo, we're very close. So now, let's start back up at Matthew chapter 24. We'll start back up at verse 14. And it reads, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So this gospel is being preached throughout the four corners of the earth because we were scattered throughout the, uh, the entire four corners of the earth. And that is about for a witness. And that is about is that that is happening right before I we're standing on our feet. You know, Revelation chapter 11 and 11, that breath of life is in us. And great fear is falling upon the heathen nation, also the two thirds. And that is about is that the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. We're seeing all these signs of the time. Nothing is going back to normal. We're getting ready to go into perfection, and we cannot wait. So rejoice ye heaven once again. So now, let's go to uh, Revelation 
chapter 12 and verse 12. Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. <clears throat> and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knowing that he has but a short time. So we see that the devil constantly scrabbing, which in fact is the so-called white man that the, that the Bible speaks of. And we see that his time is very short. He's trying to get this new world order, this global reset. He's trying to get everything set up, trying to wield the birthright back to himself. But that is about it. He is, he is in for a rude awake. He will not be able to perform his enterprise. You know, he's coming up with all these different uh, type of pseudoscience. He's coming up with all these different type uh, type technology, lying wonders, and a lot of people are lining up, constantly being deceived. And I about the Lord said, do not trust in man, but put your total trust in your heart by shooting your shot. So a lot of people are trusting in the strength of Egypt, constantly trusting in white man, G, tradition of men, and you're getting ready to be destroyed. We are living in these times. Nothing is getting ready to go back to the good old day. It's finna be over with. You know what I'm saying? It is over. It is finished. We are almost here. We are almost out of here. We cannot wait. So now, let's go to all. Uh, Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, Please Ask Tease. One moment. Let's go to Please Ask Tease chapter. One moment. One moment. Please Ask Tease chapter three. One moment. Chapter three. We'll start at verse one. Please Ask Tease chapter uh, three and verse one. And it reads, to everything there is a season and a time uh, to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 2, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. So that is about it, that the Lord is getting ready to pluck up what he has planted. You know, that righteous seed. And that is about it, that is the elect. And that is about it, we read upon harvest time. We're at the end of uh, the end of days. And that is about it, the Lord is getting ready to return. And that is about it, whether you're here or whether you were for birth, all the signs of the times are here. Bible prophets are constantly moving. Left and right, the Lord is visiting the earth that he created. So now we'll drop down to verse uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 8. And it reads, a time, a time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. Let's read that again. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 8. A time to love, a time uh, to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. So we're in that time of war. And I don't know about that time of hate, it is here because the love of men is a waxing cold. The wickedness has exceedingly polluted this earth. And the Lord is getting ready to set that right scheme. Recompense the judgment, you rather punish. We cuss and warn you left and right. Great death, great mourning, a time of great darkness, great gloomness, and right upon them. So, a lot of people are in for a rude awakening. All these UFO sightings across the world, we constantly sound like a broken record, but that is about it. That these are the times that we're living in. A lot of people say, everything is going to be okay. That colonial plantation gospel, they are constantly uh, uh, have a strong delusion. And the Lord is letting them believe a lie because they did not want to uh, receive the truth because they were that rebellious house. We constantly want you left and right. We are here and the Bible is a true book. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 13. One moment. Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13, and we'll start up at verse 16. <clears throat> and it reads, He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Verse 17, And that no man might buy or sell, say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three scores and six. So we're right upon that time. You know, we're not being by ourselves without this pseudoscience, without this technology, you know, these lying wonders. And I look back, we constantly want it is here, it is at the door. A lot of people constantly lining up, constantly going to be deceived, constantly going to trust in the strength of Egypt. We're in these perilous times. You know, a lot of people are being disobedient. A lot of people are constantly despising and mocking. The Lord said all these things will happen. We're at the beginning of sorrow. 
Jacob's trouble. All hell is getting ready to break loose. We'll constantly warn you. A lot of people say everything is, is going to be lovely. We love it here. And you're getting ready to die here because the Lord is getting ready to return. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's get one more quick precept before we close out. Let's go to Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. One moment. Luke chapter 21. And we'll start up at verse 25. Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. <clears throat> and it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nation and with perplexity, the, the seas and the waves are roaring. Verse uh, 26, men hearts felling uh, them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So that is about, we read upon that time. A lot of people, great fears fall upon a lot of people. A lot of people are uneasy, are at uh, unrest, you know, uproars of the people. A lot of people are having a sense that something is getting ready to happen. A great calamity, great uh, uh, persecution, great tribulation. It's read upon a death, great mourning. We constantly warn you left and right. So signs of the times are here, blood moons. You know, you're seeing that. You're seeing all these different things. The Lord is constantly trying to get your attention because he is getting very, very close. He's getting ready to uh, uh, to introduce himself in that little battle. Everyone that did not receive his truth is getting ready to die. We constantly warn you left and right, but you do not want to hear that. You want to hear all these things about everything is going to be all right. Uh, the, the Lord loved everyone. And we read upon World War III and that little battle that, you know, the world is getting ready to change. There's no coming back from this. This place is getting ready to be destroyed with fervent heat. We constantly want a nuclear war is right upon us. We at the brink. It is at the door. We constantly want all these things are happening. You know, Russia, NATO, uh, uh, the Ukraine border. All this is just the uh, the beginning. And that is about it. All hell is getting ready to break loose across the four corners of the earth. It's no escaping it. But come back on a total subjection to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And that is about it. That only the elect. So now. Let's uh <clears throat> let's go to Romans before we close out. Let's go to Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. We'll close out. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. One moment. <clears throat> Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. One moment. And it reads, What then Israel has not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election has attained it, and the rest was blind. So that is about it that, you know, I didn't have received it or you have not. So the election has obtained. What have they obtained? You know, this gospel and that is about it that, you know, that is what's keeping us in the secret place of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, it comforts us each and every day, even though we're getting ready to go through the perilous time, all these trials and great tribulation. But that is about it. But in the end, you know, we will get, we, what we want is immortality, rulership, spiritual power, you know, so the dominion. That thousand year reign, what we see all our enemy going to slave. That's what we're with. We are living in these times. We don't want anything to go back to normal. We're ready to get out of this place because it's because it is not our rest. And the rest was blinded, the two-thirds. And I didn't about it that, you know, they have not found what they were seeking for. And I didn't about it, they have found a lie and they have a strong illusion upon them. And I didn't about it, you know, we constantly warning you left and right. A lot of people still are playing games, but the games are almost over. We are almost here. It is at the door. So now, let's go to uh, let's go to Revelation chapter three and verse ten. Getting ready to close out. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Revelation chapter three and verse ten. One moment. Revelation chapter three and verse ten, and it reads: Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we read upon. The great hour of temptation, you know, we read upon World War Three. you know, great morning, great death. We, it is here, but the Lord said he will keep us from that hour of temptation because we stay loyal to him. We constantly were seeking him. We know the true names of the Heavenly Father. And also we fear the Lord each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We knowing that nothing is going back to say. We don't, we want all hell to break loose so we can get out of here. Down with Babylon the Great so we can get to our kingdom. And our final rest and be with our Lord and Savior forever and forever. Lord, let's get ready to set up that righteous kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So now, let's go to uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to uh, uh, Revelation chapter 22. Revelation chapter 22 
and we'll start up at verse, one moment, Revelation chapter 22, and we'll start up at verse 11. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11, and it reads, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. So that is about it. You know, everyone is standing in line. Either you have received the truth or you have not received the truth. You know, the Lord said, let the unjust stay unjust and let the just stay just and let the holy stay holy and let the unholy stay unholy. And that is about it. Everyone is standing in a lot right now. If we were meant for you to come into this truth, you have received it and you believe the report. And that is about it. You know, we are here. You know, the Bible is the truth, but all these Bible prophecies are coming to life, you know, at the brink of World War III. You're seeing all the signs of the time. You're seeing they're trying to set up this new world order. But the new world order, what is coming, is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord would not would let them perform their enterprise. They have bounds that they cannot pass, and they are running out of time. Esau, Edom, he is finished. And out of the battle, we cannot wait. Woo, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So now, we'll start back up. Of Revelation chapter 22, and we'll start back up at, at verse 12. And it reads, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is, is with me to give every man according to his uh to according as his work shall be. So that's what we're waiting on. That great reward, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual power, immortality, rulership, dominion, and be with our Lord and Savior forever and forever. We know that we are very close. All the signs of the times, again, we're redeeming times, wise, watching, praying, and being sober. We, we hasten that great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And we'll go to our last little verse and we'll close out. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 13. I am, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So that is about it. The Lord is getting ready to return. You know, he has declared the end from the beginning. And I didn't bother that. We are we already have the victory. And I didn't bother. Nothing is going back to normal. We're in a transition of power. The Lord is ushering in the kingdom of heaven. We are in the birth pain. We're in the uh, the struggle in Rebecca's womb, the, the final uh, 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 climax of uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. We are here. We are right at the end. And the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. So the title of the day lesson once again is Nothing is going back to normal. We are in the last day. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashir, Yahweh Shah, Bashir, the Kakadash. And I like to say, Shalom.